Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and happy holidays. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, jewelry, books, beauty, and a dash of Disney. And if you couldn't tell by my ears today, I have a dash of Disney for you. But before we get into that, first I just wanna thank those of you who are already subscribed so much, again, for helping me meet what that 100 subscriber goal. And for those of you who are not subscribed yet, if you like unboxings, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell as we move into the new year I'm going to have an exciting giveaway and I won't get into the details right now but basically the more subscribers that I have over 100 the bigger that giveaway will be so stay tuned for that now today I am hoping for a little bit of Disney redemption. If you haven't been following along in my 12 days of Boxmas, I opened up a new box called Walt Life. Now I kind of knew going into that that I was probably not going to be super happy about it just because it's not as customizable as I'm used to with Bibbidi Bobbidi boxes, but I gave it a shot and I did decide that it is not for me. Now if you haven't already checked out that video, definitely do because in the very beginning I actually share with you my pin board as well. Now, they in their FAQs say that it should be super easy to cancel, but in fact, instead of just clicking a button, you have to email them and then wait for them to send you a link back. Now, I am recording most of these well in advance because it's such a busy time of year, but so far it has been about 48 hours and I have not heard back yet from Walt Life, so hopefully I will be giving you a positive report at least on that front very, very soon. So. Bibbidi Bobbidi Boxes, though, is so customizable, and that's why I have been so, so happy with them, and that is why I'm hoping that this is the video that I wind up posting on Christmas Day to round out that 12 days of Boxmas. Um, so far, the two boxes that I've done at two different levels, I've done the Dreams Box at $39 and the Fantasy Box at $59, have been fantastic, totally according to my preferences, and so I did that tier that's in between them this time, which is the Wish box for $49 now I did put some special preferences in there this time. Not too much from the wish list because most of my like wish list items are kind of higher ticket items, but I did see a Mickey head macaron ornament on the Sassy Cinderella's unboxing, and I'm really hoping that I get that because when it comes to pins and ornaments, I only do Mickey heads, but they have so far given me an ornament in both of my boxes. First I got the Mickey waffle, and then I got the Mickey peppermint head, so I would love to add that to my Disney Mickey head food ornament collection. So fingers crossed I've got that in there. Now if this is a great box, again it's going to get posted on Christmas Day. If it's kind of a so-so box, I'll probably be posting it in the following days. I have enough boxes to get us through the end of the year for sure. If it is a really good box though, I am going to go ahead and try the bigger level, which is the ultimate box for $119. If it's kind of so-so, which I don't think it will be so far, like I said, I've been so so happy with them, um, then I might try out a different subscription because the other one that I've had my eye on for a long time they're actually starting to offer a few more price points so I might give them a shot as well all right so let's finally see the box so it's pretty cute everybody knows about their box but they did do sort of a nice holiday theme it did come shrink wrapped again to keep it protected and pristine but I will show it to you really close so like I said in my last unboxing it does look like they have changed sort of their printing so it doesn't have that same sheen as like the Halloween box that I first got. And if you look at it really closely, you can kind of see that some of the images look a little bit pixelated. So I hope that's coming through there on the camera. So just a little bit different. Like I've said again in another unboxing, if they just did a commemorative box or like a one-time purchase, like I would pay for a really nice like laminated metallic or magnetic closure box that I could keep all of my goodies in, like a little treasure trove. But I understand we have to keep the cost of shipping down for sure. So, and it's probably a lot more recyclable if it's not laminated. So I get it, I get it. All right. Oh, I will say that in my last box, because I watched so many unboxings of November, I didn't get the little card with Roz on it. So I'm excited to see that I did get the card this time. I've been following them a lot on Instagram and seeing everything. And so this time around, they did these like nice little reprints of vintage cards. And I think that's really cute. I love anything vintage, like especially like attraction posters or anything that kind of looks tiki and vintage now. I love those designs. So that is super, super cute. Uh, and then here, of course, is the packing slip. Let me shake off some of the 
confetti and it's just Donald looking very upset because he is all tangled up in his lights. And then inside, let me just again brush all of the things off because I'm trying not to get this room super messy because my father-in-law is coming to stay here in this room and he's going to wonder what all of the sparkles and the foozles are. So opening it up, there are the usual millions of squigglies. You can't even see anything in there, but hopefully it's because they are hiding my Mickey macaron ornament. So opening it up, trying not to get things everywhere. Huh. Well, interesting choices. Let's, let's get into the one thing that is kind of wrapped up in tissue and bubble wrap first. So it could be my ornament, but it's not quite the right shape. So we'll see. All right. Well, this is interesting, so I will show it to you. It is a Disney Parks exclusive. It is an ornament. It is Mulan. So here we go. I'll show you. She's quite pretty, but you can already see that Mushu is supposed to be there on her shoulder, and it looks like his head has snapped off. So that is a major bummer. Let me show you the rest. The rest of her gown is very sparkly. Now, this is just not something that I would have ever picked out for myself because as I said, I only collect Mickey head-shaped ornaments and pins. Now, I did say in my preferences that I like a little bit of Mulan and a little bit of Pocahontas. In fact, I put them on the same line just because I kind of look like them. So, you know, Mulan is the Asian princess, so I gotta, I gotta support her. And I am very, very excited about the new live action that's coming out. It's probably one of the only live actions that I will actually see in the theaters. I did just watch Mulan again on Disney Plus and you know, made me made me m miss the good old days, uh, but I wouldn't have picked this out for myself. I'll have to reach out to them and tell them that it did come broken off. I don't see his little head like sitting in the tissue that it was all wrapped up in, so I don't know if he was broken before he even got wrapped up, because otherwise I would try to just glue it back together. Um, but again, not necessarily something that I would pick out. That's okay. I mean, I don't have an all Mickey head tree, so she can still hide in there somewhere. She is worth $21.99 though, so kind of a bummer. Um, if you haven't already seen some of my unboxings of Bibbidi Bobbidi, I try to um, kind of just put my fingers together and hope that I get a box value that's a little bit above what I pay, pay for it because I do live really close to Disneyland and I am an annual pass holder so I pretty much get a 10% discount at the parks so I um, want my box to be like 10% more than what I paid so since I paid $49 for this one I'm hoping to get a value of about $54, $55 if that makes sense so that's like a big chunk of the box and it's a bummer because it's broken. So let's look at the other items which are not wrapped so I already know what they are. And again, they're kind of interesting choices. Now in my first two boxes in my preferences, like there's a lot of preferences that I put in there in terms of like favorite attractions and stuff that I don't ever change. And then when it's like specific things like the ornament, I'll like add that in and usually like on the first line of whatever field. So originally I said no snacks, but I've been watching so many unboxings and everybody just keeps raving and raving about the Rice Krispie treats. So I was like, all right, give me if you're gonna give me a snack, give me a Rice Krispie treat or maybe cheddar popcorn because I love cheddar popcorn. So I got a Rice Krispie treat and he's a really cute little snowman and I love that they at least on the back say that this is just one serving. That like drives me nuts if you like get something like this and it's like, oh, it's only 100 calories but it's five servings. Um, so they are a little more realistic. By the way, it's not 100 calories. It's 370 calories. So little snowman guy, I will probably munch on him later today. Um, I will probably change that back in my preferences to not get it. I just wanted to try it out because we don't usually get the packaged items when we're at the parks. Obviously for there, we're going to get like the warm things like churros and the stuff that you can't really take home with you. Um, but I, I am excited to try that and I believe Rice Krispie Treats are usually like six bucks. So that's already more than half the value of my box. And then I know what the final item is. So it, it is going to be a value of 
what I paid for. Now this is an interesting choice because I did not put this in my preferences. It is the Arendelle Aqua Ears, which are lovely. They are Parks exclusive. You can kind of see it's got that really like icy effect because it's blue and silver sequins. Like I'm not sure people always realize that when they just see it on camera. And then it's got this nice iridescent blue bow. Now blue is not my favorite color. There are some other ears that I did have on my preferences. So I'm trying to figure out where the confusion was. I did say that I like the new bow, like royal blue bow ears for 2020 that I saw. And they have like multicolor dark ears. Um, I also said that I still like the aerial ears, which I just kind of missed out on, and I was hoping maybe they would like catch them in an outlet. Um, and then I also like the brand new, like I couldn't have even put this in my preferences yet, the red ears, R-E-D-D, -D, from like Pirates of the Caribbean, because um, they're all red. So blue, again, not really my favorite color. I will wear them. I mean, I'm not going to like turn down a beautiful pair of ears, but don't hate me, you guys. I am not a Frozen fan. I'm just, I haven't seen Frozen 2. That's not to say I won't. And I didn't see Frozen 1 in the parks. I only saw it because if you have any friends with children, like at some point in time, Frozen is going to be on in the background. So, I mean, they're pretty. They're super pretty. They're just, they weren't in my preferences. And I will say that this video will probably not get posted on Christmas. It'll probably be a couple of days after, um, just because it's a little bit of a bummer. Everything is great. I like everything. There's nothing that I'm like heartbroken over. It's just, these weren't in my preferences. Mulan, while she's kind of in my preferences, um, I don't do ornaments besides Mickey heads and then she's also broken which is even more of a bummer um, can't turn down a Rice Krispie treat just not my favorite box from them that's all right um, so that means I will probably stay at one of the lower tiers for now and maybe try out a different subscription I will keep you posted how uh, it goes when I let them know that it did come broken maybe I can put a request in and ask for the macaron ornament instead maybe it'll all work out to my benefit other than that you guys I hope you have a fantastic holiday if you haven't already tell me what you're going to do for the new year. I would love to hear your plans. I'm probably just going to be a homebody and stay home and read my books and plan my videos. But I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you very, very soon in my next unboxing.